hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you how my front yard garden and backyard garden are doing towards the end of march spring has officially started and you can see daffodils and muscaris are blooming beautifully my crocus are nearly done and they have been blooming for quite a while and they are fading now but daffodils and muscari are taking their turn to show off now they are looking really beautiful i'm really happy with how i planted all these four squares i have got four trees in these square borders here is my plum tree which is loaded with birds and here is my cherry stella tree and i have planted daffodils and muscaris around all the trees and i'm loving this show uh, cherry stella tree is loaded with birds as well the birds are about to open the weather has been really nice in March, but we are expecting some cold and light frost coming next week. So hopefully these birds do not get damaged in late frost. Here are ice follies and they are really good mix of all the daffodils. Apple tree is doing good as well. It has got lots of spurs and flowers about to open moving on there is even beautiful show around the pear tree all the daffodils are in bloom there are some short and some taller ones i have planted muscaris around the edges and i hope these naturalized really well my pear tree is producing this year as well i can see lots and lots of birds it didn't do anything last year and i'm quite hopeful that we could have a pear harvest this year if the weather does not damage the blooms so in april it's quite risky if the weather turns too cold it could be potentially damaging for all these food trees here in the middle i have cherry morella tree which is growing nicely it has got lots and lots of bird and i can expect all these trees blooming really soon with a beautiful spring show i can't really wait to happen it moving on to the side border i have got lots of things going on here is my container where i planted my unomus tree and it is looking good i have got some tulips in there as well clematis is doing well as well i didn't do any pruning on it this year and it is taking off and i have got lots and lots of tulips in my side border and this is my hydrangea paniculata which is also living out and my roses they are living out as well here's my spirea looking good and my side border is completely full of all the plants i have gone by cottage style planting where i planted all kinds of uh, different plants and at the back you can see my hollyhocks coming back this is my climbing rose in its second year i hope it climbs really well this year camellia and more tulips and i can see some Peonies emerging from the ground. It's so delightful to see the plants coming out of the ground or you see the birds opening on trees. It is so hopeful and delightful. I can't really express my feelings. It is so joyful to watch all these plants grow back again and I can't expect my garden is looking full again this year. And my fox loves are growing back. Hydrangea, Macrophylla is doing well and here are my hats and bobs i'm loving them they are so so beautiful and fragrant you can't really feel that through camera but when you look at them they are so delightful to watch and i'm so happy and i hope they naturalize really well here i love these hyacinths and i can see my flocks coming out of the ground and i had lupins and anthus in the side border last year and they are perennial here so um Looking out for them, my zilia is doing well and here I have planted a newly bought camellia. This is camellia um, bicolor and it is looking really beautiful and I can't really expect it to grow. It has got some birds but I think it could be under transplant shock so it may not grow that well this year. And my snapdragons are starting to leave out again so I have left them in there and these are my containers where i have got junipers in the middle and i planted alism and pansy around them they are doing well as well and i have recently bought some hanging baskets for early spring color going into the backyard garden my vegetable area is doing well i have got some more fruit trees this is my apricot large tree which is about to bloom it has got few birds on it and i have planted fences around it 
and here is my kiwi wine which i'm trying to train of this obelisk and it is in its third year and it is doing really well it is leaping out and i'm really hopeful for it to grow well this year and i have got some strawberry plants in this straw planter i have bought some more containers to go in my vegetable garden in this raised bed i have seeded my lettuce carrots and beets lettuce is already germinated i can see some beets emerging but there's no action on carrots i have got strawberry plants on the side and i planted some peas around the other side which are just germinating i have got lots of garlic in this raised bed looking good and more strawberry plants in these wooden lettuce raised beds and i planted some sweet peas around the trellis here is my plum tree which i'm trying to train as this year. it is loaded with birds and i'm quite hopeful that we will get a good plum harvest this year and here is my other tree which is neck tree i'm not really happy with this tree it's not looking quite good uh, let's see how it performs and i have planted some more pencils around the base and in this container i have got blackberries it's starting to leaf out as well and things are looking hopeful the weather has been really nice and i'm really praying that they do not get damaged in the late frost and here's my apple tree which is i'm trying to train as ispalia and it is looking good as well let's see how much apples we get this year this is my loganberry and raspberry bush and it is leaving out as well some fox club containers from last year and they're trying to come back and here's my grapevine which is doing good and it has got some birds so hopefully this will grow nicely this year i have got a snapdragon in it and a planted pansy around it this is my jasmine wine which i'm trying to train off this fence to cover the fence and here in this container i have got my hydrangea cutting which i rooted last year and it is budding up and leaping out let's see how it grows my blueberry bush which is loaded with birds and i can expect some blueberry harvest and some more strawberry plants in this straw planter going into the greenhouse i have got a good crop of chard and spinach and beetroots going which i started in fall they are looking really nice and lovely and i'm quite happy with that i started them in fall and they are about to be harvested now so i'll be harvesting in a couple of weeks time and my uh, Kalamantan orange tree is looking good here are my ranunculus and anemones coming up and i'm quite happy with them my hanging baskets not ready yet and some more plants which i want to plant in my front garden here are my seeds which i started last month and they are showing some action there and i'm quite happy with all the things which i have got here some cuttings snapdragon cuttings and petunia cuttings these petunia cuttings which i overwintered and snapdragon cuttings and my corn flowers are almost ready to be planted outside and things are looking good and i'm really happy and hopeful that the garden will take its shape back this year and it's third year is still a young garden and i'm trying really hard to uh, make it look beautiful so i have got my plants which i started from seeds last year in the fall these are cups and saucers and hollyhocks i have arranged them in the gaps between the other plants and i'm going to plant them and if i cannot manage all of them then i'll plant them in my backyard these are perennial plants so once planted they will come back year after year so i have planted all my Ops and saucers and i'm left with some of hollyhocks which i will plant them in my backyard so i hope you enjoyed watching this tour of my garden in the month of march please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye